The Boca Salute Fest continues to look at avenues to engage the population in reading and writing. Coming off a successful staging of the 2023 festival, it has now turned its attention to the Right Away Young Adult Literature Program, which is sponsored by the Scotiabank Foundation. Through this 2023 series, we aim to further equip students with the skills and knowledge necessary to excel in their various fields of work. We taught academic essentials like persuasive and expository essay writing, descriptive writing, and summary writing. We further developed resources to guide youth to apply these skills to professional scenarios, for example, speech writing, media releases, and business proposals and presentations. Students will have access to a five-part video series, workbook and internships at media houses, advertising and marketing companies. This valuable package will be available on demand for all Caribbean secondary school teachers and students via the Ministry of Education's School Learning Management System. In addition, we are proud to announce our partnership with COSTAT to extend, to conduct 10 free professional non-fiction writing training, training workshops at the beginning of the next academic year. Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly says literacy speaks to the core of who we are. So we may say our children today are not necessarily big readers in terms of the physical books, but are they in fact not readers? Yes, they are. It is what they read and where they read it. So literacy goes far beyond just being able to recite your alphabet and being able to, to um, recognize your sight words. It's about reading and understanding it's about being able to get information and use it in positive ways. The education minister admits her ministry's concern about literacy levels and announced what it will be doing as of this week. We are discussing right now and we'll be discussing with our stakeholders very soon this week the increase in focus of time at school for reading. And this is not something that is new. It is something that existed before, but over the course of time, and of course with COVID, has fallen away. But our teachers and our students have to put aside time at school, a good portion of time, for reading. Aksha Galston, TV6 News.